Glory to God, glory to Jesus. Asante Yesu, utukufu kwa Yesu. We thank you, Father. Tunakushukuru Baba. Well, you most welcome those of you that are coming online right now. Tunakaribisha wale wote wanaingia kwa mtandao sasa hivi. We are coming live from Assembly of Faith Church Airways Utawala. Tunakuja kwenu kutoka Faith Assembly hapa Utawala. Nairobi, Kenya. Nairobi, Kenya. And we want to request everyone that is coming on the board, even those of us that are in the church right now. Tunauliza kila mmoja ambaye wale wako kwa mtandao na wale wako kanisani sasa hivi. Please make sure that you lock you, you you those of you that are in the church lock in and let's make sure that we share this uh, live broadcast. Wale wako kanisani unaweza kuingia kwa huo mtandao na ushare kwa watu wengi. Let's make sure that this one goes viral. Make sure kwamba hii message imeenda kila mahali. And that will be great. Na hiyo itakuwa sawa kabisa. When you come on the board please allow us to know where you are watching us from. Ukiingia kwa mtandao tufanye tujue unatuangalia ukiwa unatoka wapi. If you're watching us from Kenya, from South Africa, Tanzania, America, US kama unatuangalia kutoka Kenya, America, nchi yoyote tu. Whatever you're watching and those who are in Dubai, those wale people, walio pale in Dubai and those that are in Qatar. Wale walio kule Qatar. Please make sure that you share the video and let us know that you are catching us from where. Hakikisha kwamba utashare hii video na utueleze uko wapi. Let's know that you are watching us from what side. Wacha tujue unatuangalia kutoka pande gani. That is going to be equated. I can see Lucy Mpenda Peace is already on the bro on the board. God bless you. God bless you. Lucy Mpenda Peace apo ndani ya mtandao. I can see that uh, uh, Sami Sinyaga is also on the on the, on the board. God bless you. God bless you. Pale pia kwa mtandao. Bless you. God bless you. I see Gladys Mwende. Gladys Mwende. Pale pia. God bless you. Mungu akubariki. Please help me to share this. And let me know where you are you are coming from. I just see you watching but I'm not seeing you saying whatever please mention your location and that will be a great deal for us eleza to eleza mahali unatuangalia ukiwa ndio mambo itakuwa sawa sawa kabisa yes yes pastor no way you are catching us for tusaidie tujue unatuangalia ukiwa pande gani and then i'm doing this one as i'm also giving you a time at least to share to at least not less than three people na ninafanya hivi nikikupatia nafasi ya kushare hii video kwa watu ambao si chini ya watatu don't just comment but also share to the people that are in your faith or sub groups Usiongee tu lakini ushare kwa watu wenye uko kwa mtandao yako on your facebook pages facebook kwa mtandao kwa youtube just make sure that you share it out hakikisha kwamba umeshare hii kitu kwa kila mtu and the lord will bless you na mungu atakubariki tag people also to watch with you tag tag people to watch with you ingiza watu waweze kuwatch pamoja na wewe this will be great na hii itakuwa those that are watching us from south africa wale wanatuangalia kutoka south africa please make sure you invite more people Hakikisha umeweka watu wengi kwa mtandao. Karibisha watu. I promise you it will not be in vain. Na kuhakikisha itakuwa bure tu. Their life shall never be made the same. Maisha yao watu itabakia vile. Keep sharing this, keep sharing this. Endelea kushare, kushare hii mtandao. And the Lord shall bless you greatly. Na Mungu wetu atakubariki zaidi. In the name of Jesus. Jesus la Kristo Yesu. What a beautiful thing to be in the service today. Ni uzuri aje kukua katika ibada ya leo. I believe Naamini the Lord Jesus ya kwamba Yesu has Christ something for you today. Kitu ya kukupatia wewe as you kick off the week tomorrow. Ikifika siku ya kesho, you will start a week with such empowerment. Utaanza wiki yako na ukiwa umetiwa nguvu kabisa. And this is the reason why I don't want you to to have this alone. Na ndio sababu nataka nisitaki uangalie kuwa peke yako. I would want you to also share with other brethren. Nataka uwe uwe ushare kwa watu wengine and the lord will bless you greatly na mungu wetu atakubariki zaidi you see every one of us kila mmoja wetu has got a world ana ulimwengu wake and so nobody can come to your world hakuna mtu anaweza ingia kwa ulimwengu wake unless you allow us to come to that world baka wewe mwenyewe ukubali watu waingie your world is that your social media platform ulimwengu wako ni hiyo platform yako ya social media you are in whatsapp group wewe uko kwa whatsapp There are so many people in those groups. Kuna watu wengi kwa hiyo mitandao group za through you kupitia kwako we can be able to minister to those people. Tunaweza kudumia hao watu. I say through you kupitia kwako we can be able to minister to those people. Tunaweza tukahudumia hao watu by you sharing. 
And that will be a quick blessing. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 If you're in the church, please make sure you're doing the same. Not Come only on. those that are online, even those of you that are in the church. Let's do the same. Let's do the same. Let's welcome people. Let's bring on people. Let's bring on people. Somebody will receive this video while he's sick in his house or in the hospital. And as they watch the healing power of, of God shall come upon them and they shall be healed in the name of Jesus. Please don't deny them that opportunity. Share, share this, share this, share this. And the Lord will bless you in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Well, beautiful. Let's appreciate church. Let's appreciate the online church. Yeah. 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 Come on, come on. We are welcoming the online church in the name of Jesus. Make sure you do not watch while silent. Make sure you don't watch while silent. Make sure you make a comment. Comment whatever statement that I'm making on the social on the on the on the and the Lord will bless you. The details of our giving um the details of our giving if you want to give, not you want to give, you must give. You are watching online, please make sure that you don't knock out without giving. If you're watching us from Kenya, you can use a tail number. And that is 832145. 832145. of you can just pin it up there. You know how to do the pinning? How to do the pinning? I work Let's spin it up there so that whoever that wants to get just spin actually the whole uh, the whole whatever Pastor Kali. Is that possible? Just so that it is always on the pinned up on the comment section. You know, that's the till number. And then if you're watching outside Nairobi, or outside Kenya, you can use the sent the sent money number. Sent money number. That is 0770. 0770. For one. Make sure that you don't watch and not give your offerings and support. support. If this ministry is blessing you, then make sure you become a blessing with your physical staffs as well. And the Lord will bless you greatly. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. We began to look at the subject of the new man in Christ the last two weeks ago. And it's been flowing up very well. We also ran the same subject, uh, but I think we just finished last week on our TV program. Now I'm saying we've been running the same topic. Oh, to the point to kill the layer topic to you on our program on our TV program. Katika TV, this is BDM TV. I'm by the BDM TV that happens every single Thursday. I'm by the kila siku ya alamisi for 9:30 a.m. Toka sata na nusu all the way to 11. Baka sata na be sure to tune in. Make sure umeingia kwa umetune in and you will not regret tuning in. Na uta uta lalamika kwa nini uliingia ndani ya the name of Jesus. Majina la Yesu. Again this Tuesday, na Ijumaa ijayo, I will also hosting another show where I will be talking about music. Nitakuwa naingia kwa show ingine ambayo itakuwa naongea mambo ya uimbaji. The show is stand the singing minister. Na hiyo itakuwa inaitwa eh, utumishi wa uimbaji. Yeah, the singing minister. Utumishi wa kuimba ama wa uimba. Tumishi na imba. Tumishi 
and also on BDM TV. TV to your BDM. So be sure to tune in. We'll have incredible time to be able to divine the songs that men in Christ ought to sing. And what impact does the songs that we sing have in our lives? It's going to be brutal. Make sure that you're going to join in. Make sure the Lord will bless you. In Jesus' mighty name. Glory to God. Alright then, let's go back to the subject. We begin from the book of 2 Corinthians chapter number 5 and verse number 17. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse number 17. This is part, part, part 4 of the new man Christ subject here in church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. So we're going to read. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. So that verse, you remove the word be as you are reading. Because it is not there in the original manuscript. It is if any man in Christ. So the B is not there. Now, the new creature is the man in Christ. The new creature is the man in Christ. We have been traveling on this subject for a couple of Sundays now. Our main agenda, agenda yetu kubwa is to reveal you in Christ Jesus. Daniel Christo yes. is to make you discover where you are. Where you are. The main purpose for this subject is to deal with the crime with the, uh, the with the identity crisis in the mind of a believer. That's a great word. To deal with the crime identity crisis in the mind of a believer. It is important for everybody in the church today understand salvation is one thing and to know salvation is another thing one more time it is important for every one of us to understand it is one thing to be saved and another thing to come with the knowledge of Jesus Christ. To be saved does not translate does not translate does not translate to an, an automatic knowledge of God. The fact that you are born again even the fact that you go to church even the fact that you sing in choir even when you are dressed with, the, with those clothes of the altar it does not translate to knowing God it is one thing to be saved and another thing to come to the knowledge of God First, Timothy chapter number 2 and verse number 5. Verse number 3. That's very important. 
Let's read up, let's read up, Pastor, uh, Pastor Aaron will be reading for us very quickly. English is okay, then you translate. Okay, <laughs> that's right, that's right. Inasema, for this is good mm. and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior. This is good in the Mwibu, and it is acceptable in the sight of God our Savior. Who wants all men to to be saved. So God wants everybody to be saved. Is that right? And that is why he made it possible by becoming man in the person of Christ. And then he died on the cross because of taking the sins of man. And when he died on the cross as the sinner, he went to hell. Because when a sinner dies, he goes to hell. The destination of a sinner from the earth It is hell So God became man in the person of Christ And he took the sin of man On the cross of Calvary. And when he took the sin of man He became sin and he died. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then he went to hell as a sinner. But in hell. He defeated sin and death on behalf of man. And then he rose up again on the third day with the eternal life. Which is called the forgiveness of sin. So, ladies and gentlemen, the forgiveness of sin is a person. Hello, hello. Write that one down. The forgiveness of sin is a person. Forgiveness of sin is not a mention. It's not a confession. It's not someone saying, I forgive you. Forgiveness of sin is a person. Hallelujah. We have traveled so softly and we have seen. Now let's begin to see how did Jesus Christ become sin? Yes, Christ. Are we doing well? Mm-hmm. Abigail, I want you to stay away from those things and do the right thing. You're not let, let divine do that, but not you. Okay. So put all of them, put them aside. Put them aside completely. And don't touch them again. Write the notes. Very important. Then, you know the purpose of the church is to learn. And when you are learning, you must come to the understanding. Hallelujah. Apostle, before we continue, yes, yes. Oh, people, they have no pens. Very important. important. Samuel, make sure you are right. You know you are an example. Eh? Make sure you are right. Make sure you are right. Everybody, make sure you are taking notes. You are, at least you, even if you begin with eh, taking the scriptures, the scriptures. Very important. And there are some pens over here, baby. And a book there. Pass it to someone. Pass it to that lady there. Pass it to that lady behind. At least. 
Ndika kitu. There's a pen pass for her there. Kalamu ziko. Okay, pass it, pass it. Whoever that doesn't have. Samuel, make your, Samuel, I don't want the issue of you saying that you're going to watch at home again. That will be for study. That one is for study. But here in church, you must write. And, and especially those of you that are, you know, that are lower model. Mm, because now you are showing you are showing people that this is how it is done. You know, when you don't write and people that are looking at you, they say, oh, it is not. Okay. That's a discipline. Your, your discipline that must be maintained. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. We're good there. <clears throat> so now we begin to look at how did Jesus Christ or how did God become man? Because we are looking at the new man in Christ. How did you come to be in Christ? Last Sunday I was questioned by Pastor Kavi. Eh, last Sunday niliulizwa swali na Pastor Kavi and uh, she was so concerned about making sure that everybody understands what we are communicating. Na akakuwa concerned kutaka kujua kila mtu ameelewa ile kitu tunaongea. That's a good mother indeed. Hiyo ni um, yeah, that's a good mother. Hiyo ni kuwa mama mzuri mwenye anajali watoto. That's right. That's right. Mm. So now let's begin from the book of Philippians chapter number 2. Tuanze na hicho kitabu cha wa Philippi mlango wa pili. Philippians chapter number 2 and then will be verse number 5. We'll go slowly. Hiyo itakuwa mlango wa pili mstari wa 5 tutaenda pale pole tu. Beautiful. Kabisa. Then you're going to read. Na basi nitasoma in English. Naanza kwa Kiingereza. Mm-hmm. Let this mind be in you mm-hmm. which was also in Christ Jesus. Correct. Six, verse number 6 who being in the form of god thought it not robbery to be equal with god verse mm-hmm. seven, correct but made himself of no reputation mm-hmm. and took upon him mm. the form of a servant mm. and was made in the likeness of men Hold it up there. We will trip back again to verse number 6. Tunarudi tena mstari wa 6. Let's pay attention one more time. Oh be in the form of Oh be in the form of God. Thought it not robbery to be equal with God. But he made himself of but he made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a serpent glory to God and I was made in the likeness of man, man. glory so you see, we begin to discuss it from verse number 5 which says let this man be in, in you so tulianza kuongea kutoka mstari wa 5 anasema hii mwanzo na iwe ndani yenu pia which was also in Christ ambayo ilikuwa kwa Kristo Yesu so now the discussion there is on Jesus right kwa hivyo sasa tunaongea juu ya ndani ya Kristo ama iliyokuwa na Kristo then he goes to sit and say who is who is rather who been in the form of God mstari wa 6 anasema yeye aliyekuwa na 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 asili ya kiungu thought it not robbery to be equal with God. This is to say that Jesus Yesu was God. And then he thought not good. Lakini akaona sio vizuri to remain to be God kuendelea kukua Mungu when the man that he created wakati mwanadamu aliyemuumba is lost anaendelea kupotea and therefore na kwa hivyo he took that number 7 he took is it and but he made himself of no reputation na mstari wa kuwa wa saba inasema just is the pretty when i speak it okay he made himself of no reputation and he find yeye mwenyewe kuwa or he stripped himself ama akajitoa yeye akatoka ndani yake 
godliness and then he put on humanity that's exactly what he's saying he said he stripped of all the privileges that make God to be God inasema alifua ule uungu na vitu vyote vinavyofanya yeye kuwa Mungu and then he he, he took the form of the man na akachukua mfano wa mwanadamu and he was born a human being na akazaliwa kama mwanadamu wa kawaida you see that now so god kwa hivyo mungu became man alifanyika mwanadamu when god became man alipofanyika mwanadamu he was called the son of god alaitwa aliitwa mwana wa mungu write it down when god became man andika hii wakati mungu alifanyika mwanadamu he was called the son of god aliitwa mwana wa mungu so that time the son of god hivyo hilo neno mwana wa mungu it is mentioned for the first time imetajwa kwa mara ya kwanza after god Okay, man. I believe you are flowing very well. the son of God. It was mentioned for the first time. After God became man. Nobody else that was called the son of God before Jesus. Let me say that again. No one else. was God the son of God aliyeitwa mwana wa Mungu before Jesus baada ama kabla kabla ya Yesu Kristo why kwa nini because the time the son of God kwa sababu hilo neno mwana wa Mungu it is the greek word homogenua hii ni neno la kigiriki inaitwa homogenua which means inayomaanisha the only begotten son of God inamaanisha mwana wa pekee wa Mungu that is to say the God that became man Mungu aliyefanyika mwanadamu how did God become man Mungu alifanyika mwanadamu aje divinity ni uungu marring humanity ukiona na mwanadamu are you catch what i'm saying unashikanisha kwa nini divinity uungu marring humanity ukiona na ubinadamu it is the amalgamation hii ni mchanganyiko of divinity and humanity mchanganyiko wa uungu na ubinadamu it is where divinity meets humanity ni pale uungu ulipopatana na ubinadamu when divinity it meets humanity ulipo ulipopatana na ubinadamu that magic hiyo kuninganishwa na kuingiana it is called the son of god hiyo inaitwa mwana wa mungu okay yes that is called what hiyo ndio inaitwa mwana wa the son of god mwana wa mungu glory to god hallelujah now let's go slowly let's go slowly now let's look at that again in john chapter number 1 and verse Let's begin from verse number 1 2 3 4. Tunaangalia hiyo kitabu cha Yohana mlango. You are just open then you will uh, do it right so that it don't take long time. Okay. We do it once. John chapter 1. Yohana mlango wa kwanza. The Bible says verse 1. John 1:1. Mlango wa kwanza mstari wa kwanza. It says in the beginning was the word apo mwanzo kulikuweko na neno and the word was with god naye neno alikuwa kwa na mungu and the word was god himself naye neno alikuwa mungu in the beginning apo mwanzo was the word kulikuweko na neno the word was god neno alikuwa ni mungu i mean the word was with god and the word was god neno alikuwa na mungu na neno alikuwa ni mungu the same was in the beginning with god huyo alikuwa apo mwanzo pamoja na mungu all things were meant by him vitu vyote viliungwa kupitia Because the word is the he. Hello. Hallelujah. Says Jesus. Ni. Okay. Says the Bible. Okay, Biblia inasema hivyo. Not Nixon. Sio Nixon anasema. Bwana asifiwe sana. Hallelujah. The word is the he. Neno ni mtu. One more time. In the beginning was the word. Apo mwanzo alikuweko na word was with God. Neno alikuweko na Mungu. The word was God. Na neno alikuwa na Mungu. The same was in the beginning with God. Ni yeye aliyekuwa hapo mwanzoni na Mungu. All things were meant by him. Vitu vyote vilivyo na yeye, he who 
Yeye nani? The word. Neno na so the word neno is a person. Ni mtu. Verse 4 it says, in him was life. Na mstari wa tano nasema, ndani yake kulikuwa na inzima. That person. Kwa huyo mtu. Which is Jesus Christ. Was the life. Ndani yake kulikuwa uhai. And the life was the light of man. Na huyo uhai ulikuwa ni nuru ya wanadamu. Are you seeing that now? Unaona sasa hivi? Now let's stop over. Let's go to verse number. Verse number 10. Waja twende mstari mpaka wa 10. Let's let's begin with verse number 9. Sasa wa 9 tuanze hapo. Bazoka tala bagadi. That is John chapter 1 verse number 9 now says what? That was the true light. Ile ilikuwa nuru asili which lighted every man that cometh into the world. It was nuru kwa kila mtu ajaye ulimwenguni. That word. Huyo neno which was a person ambaye ni mtu it was the true light yeye alikuwa ndiye nuru ya kweli that lighted every man ambaye inaangazia kila mwanadamu that came into the world ajaye ulimwenguni he was in the world alikuweko duniani and the world was meant by him na ulimwengu uliumbwa na yeye he was in the world alikuwa ulimwenguni let us gentlemen let's 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 stop let's stop wacha wacha tuongeleshane hapa god mungu and the son of god na mwana wa mungu who created the world nani aliyeumba ulimwengu tuongeleshane make sure that my my daughter is everywhere hello hallelujah the church makes sense kanisa inakuwa inamaanisha when it begins to awaken your your intelligence wakati kanisa inaanza kuinua ile 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 intelligence yako The church is not a place where you come and dance you sweat. Kanisa si mahali pa kwenda unaimba unatoa jasho kila mahali. And then when the time of the word comes you you sleep because you know when you sweat a lot. Wakati wa neno ikifika unaanza kulala kwa sababu ulichoka. You know when you sweat a lot. Kwa sababu ukitoa jasho sana. And then you happen to sit down. Na ukikaa ukicheti chini. Silent. Unyamaza. For some few minutes you begin to sleep. Kwa dakika kidogo tu usingizi lazima. Am I against dancing and sweating? Mimi niko kwenye nyumba cha kuimba mpaka kutoa jasho. No, I'm not like that. I even myself ah, dance. Ah, so, hata mimi huwa nadanza sana. But that's not the purpose. Lakini hiyo sio lengo la church. Church is not a place for dancing. Kanisa sio mahali pa kuja kutana. Less of knowledge. Kanisa ya kupata ni maana where you develop your knowledge about God. Ni mahali tunainua maarifa yetu kuhusu Mungu. It's a place where you understand it comes in conduct with God. Ni mahali ambapo kuelewa kwetu kunakuja pamoja na Mungu. It's a place when you come. Ni mahali ambapo ukija beaten down na uanguke chini I mean beaten down by the issues of life au kija kama umepigwa huko nje na mambo ya maisha weak because of the pressure of the world kwa sababu ya ile pressure dunia as you enter ukiingia tu by the time we are done with you wakati tukimalizana na wewe you walk out of that day unatokea mlango ule so bold usiwe na ujazili so energetic usiwe umejaa nguvu powerful ukiwa umejaa so ready to face your will ukiwa tayari kupambana Because you already know sababu unajua to end the world bila utaenda kupambana na mambo kwa nini because the moment of god kwa sababu fahamu has become so much alive in you kuwa kabisa ndani yako you see uh, you see emmanuel when jesus christ unaona emmanuel wakati yesu kristo is coming and walking on the water and it's a bear you your much you know the disciples had gotten into the boats wana funzi walikuwa ndani ya ile ile kadu pale kwa and he was left on the other side of the lake na yesu alikuwa ameachwa pande hii nyingine and then he decided to walk on the water akaamua kutembea juu ya maji what gave him the audacity ile kitu ilimpatia huo mjaziri this man knew who he was yesu alijua yeye ni nani i let you know who you are in Christ. You will be beaten down and up by life. For the word of people who will scream at you and you take off. We just who make noise and you think their noises can affect you. Why? Because you lack the understanding of who you are in Christ Jesus. But a man that has understood that he is in Christ 
Christ Jesus is never afraid of the demons. He's never afraid of the witches. He does not fear the evil. He does not care about the curses. Why? It is about. Yeah, yeah, Hallelujah. I say he is a bad. Yeah, yeah, you can Therefore, knowledge is king. Basi, marifa ni yokefungo is king. King. Iyo ndio mfalme. Iyo mfalme. Marifa ni mfalme. Knowledge is king. Marifa ni mfalme sa kota baze katoli da baga da baga di. Hallelujah. Tere neva mambrende kato ya bazande kato. Ambia mwenzako yoyo yoyo mesikia. Mazo kato. Si umambia ata wewe. Ambia mwenzako. Mazo kata di da baga di. Ambia mwenzako mbibu. Hallelujah. This is the language of men of Christ. Hii ni lugha yetu wala tuliyo ndani ya Kristo. You understand that now? Now, okay, now watch this one. That was verse number 10. He said it was in the world. Mustari wa kumi nasema alikuwa ulimwenguni. And the world was meant by him. Na ulimwengu ni umwa na yeye. And the world knew him not. Lakini ulimwengu kumjua. So now I ask a question. Tata na uliza soali. Pastor Kazi. Pastor Kazi. And the rest of us. Na wale wengine. Between God and the Son of God, who created the world? <laughs> Between God and the Son of God, who created the world? Between God and Jesus, Katikati ya Mungu na Yesu who created the world. Nani aliumba ulimwengu? You see Pastor Beth this does not even need, need to bother us. Unaona Pastor Beth hii haitujalishi sana. Because the answer is already within the script. Kwa sababu njipu iko katika tuma andiko hapa. Why would we say so Pastor Kavi? Unasema hivyo kwa nini Pastor Kavi? Because verse number one. Kwa sababu msali wa kwanza. It says in the beginning. Inasema hapo mwanzo. Was the word. Alikuweko na neno. The word was with God. Neno alikuweko na mungu. The word was God. Na neno alikuwa ni mungu. So the word is God is it? Kwa hivyo neno ni mungu. Is the word God? Neno ni mungu. Is God the word? Mungu ni neno. Is God the word? Mungu ni neno. Is the word God? Neno ni mungu. The answer is yes. Ya, jibu ni yes. It is not yes according to you. Si atini, kwe ni kulingana na mawazo yako. It is yes according to the Bible. Ni kwe ni kulingana na mawazo ya mbibilia. Alo, hallelujah. We don't preach our feelings. Atu umbili vile tunasikia. We do not preach our understanding. Atu umbili kwelewa kwetu. We preach the Bible. Tuna umbili mbibilia. We don't put our imagination. Atu wiki mawazo yetu. Into the book. Dami ya hii. The word of God has the capacity to explain himself and to think for himself and speak for himself. Don't speak for the word of God. Don't say I think. Your thinking is not needed. Don't say I feel. Your feelings has nothing to do with the word of God. The word of God is self-sufficient. The word of God is self-contained. It thinks for himself. He speaks for himself. And he explains himself. The word of God. Somebody shall glory. Oh, I feel something in the house today. <laughs> so it's not according to your thinking. It is according to the Bible. In the beginning was the word. The word was we. The word was. God. So the God is the word. And the word is God. Is that right now? And then verse number two. I am He was. He was glory to God. He was in the beginning with God. That's the word. All things were made by him. 
vitu vyote viliumwa na yeye by the word nani neno by the word na neno and who is the word na neno ni nani god neno ni mungu and who is god mungu ni nani jesus christ mungu ni yesu kristo haleluya therefore basi god and jesus mungu na yesu they are not two si watu wawili tofauti haleluya hapana listen Hallelujah. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, he is not the son of God. Sio mwana wa Mungu. Even though other kama he is the son of God. Yeye ni mwana wa Mungu. What did I say? Nimesema nini hapo? Shadow basa kata. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, he is not the son of God. Sio mwana wa Mungu. Even though other kama he is the son of God. Yeye ni mwana wa Mungu. Why is he not the son of God? It does not mean I that God gave birth to Jesus. It does not mean I that God is the father and he has a son that sits next to him which is called Jesus. No, I Rather, lakini God Mungu is God that and Jesus Jesus Christ is God the Mungu that became a son and he was like a of God wa Mungu to save man kwa kwa mwanadamu listen to me again excuse me listen to me again Jesus Jesus Christ is God the Mungu that became and he was like the son of God mwanadamu akaitwa mwana wa Mungu listen again You have to write it. Hiyo hizo ndizo point za kuandika sasa hizo. You have to write it. Hizo ndio za kuandika. If you don't write that one then what else can you write? Kama uandiki hiyo sasa utaandika nini hapo? Shakuta pakata. Hallelujah. Jesus, yes, is not God. Si Mungu. I mean he's not the son of God. Si mwana wa Mungu. Rada, bali he is God. Yes, the Mungu that became the son of God. Aliyefanyika mwana wa Mungu to save man what's this explanation this is aron oyo ni aron mongoti mongoti what was your the very mongoti said that your name of your father or your name the name of my father i want the one that i want your two names I have only one Aaron Mungu. Oh this man, this man. <laughs> okay, let's leave him. Let's forget about him. Wacha na huyu. It's not a good example. Let's take a Emmanuel. Wacha tuchukue Emmanuel sasa. Emmanuel Musyoka. Who is Musyoka? Musyoka ni nani? Your father or you? You. Yes. Musyoka who? Your father is called who? Richard. Richard. Let's forget about Richard. We want Emmanuel and Musoka. Emmanuel Musoka. Is that right now? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now, when I call Emmanuel, nikitanda Emmanuel, have I called you? Ni wewe nimeita. If I turn this side and I go here and then turn again and I call Musoka. Na nigeuke nitane Musoka. Ni wewe nimeita. Have I called you? I have called you. Ni wewe nimeita. Did I call two people? Nimeita watu wawili? No. Apana. Have I used two names? Nimetumia majina mbili? Yes. Yes, nimetumia mbili. Did I call two people? Nimeita watu wawili? No. Apana. Have I used two names? Nimetumia majina mbili? Yes. Eh, But I am calling one person. Lakini naita mtu mmoja. Did you hear that? Nasikia hiyo. Therefore, kwa hivyo sasa, Jesus, Jesus is God. Ni Mungu that became the son of God. Aliyefanyika mwana wa Mungu. When God who is a spirit, wakati Mungu ambaye ni roho took up the body of the human being. Alichukua mwili wa kibinadamu. He was called the son of God. Aliitwa mwana wa Mungu. That did not make him different from who he is. Lakini hiyo haimaanishi ni tofauti na vile alivyo. No. He remains to be what? Anabaki kuwa God. Mungu. But why did he do that? 
Because he wanted to save man. In order for him to save man, he had to become man. When he came to humanity, he was called the Son of God. Son of God. Somebody shout Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So now. Between God and Jesus who created the heaven and earth. <laughs> Hello. Hallelujah. Let me get an answer. Let me get an answer. Yes, uh, Emmanuel. Mr. Samuel. What's your answer on that? Between God and Jesus who created the world. God. Beautiful. And let's Samuel go to boom. let's go to uh, uh, to Shama. Between God and Jesus Christ, who created the, the earth of the world? God. Beautiful. Let's come to this beautiful sister here. Beautiful. So between God and Jesus, who created the world? Eh? God. Beautiful. Okay. Let's go to the Mzee behind there. Mzee behind there. Between God and Jesus, who created the world? Mzee Baba yetu pale. Katikati ya Mungu na Yesu, nani aliumba ulimwengu? Wow. What did you say? You have the mic there? No, I want to hear what that man is saying. You can't be serious. Uh-huh. 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 Hallelujah. Come on, let's celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. I did not know that Muse is such much attentive. Hallelujah. So we are not even coming to you, Mr. Okay. We already we already have the answer. Now we took her. Hallelujah. So now. According to what the Bible is saying, not according to me. God and Jesus, they are one. Hello? Hallelujah. God and Jesus, they are one. So what would be the right answer? In this question. Between God and Jesus all created the world. The answer is God and Jesus created the world. Come on, somebody, come on, somebody, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today, Leo Emmanuel Emmanuel was on the stage singing. And also today, Msoka was on the stage singing. So between Msoka and Emmanuel, who was on the stage singing? Emmanuel Msoka. Emmanuel Msoka. Glory to God. That's very important to understand. Very, very important for you to understand. So that you don't get confused. Between God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, the Son of God. You don't need to be confused. There's no need for confusion. Now look at verse number. Look at verse number because now we were saying in verse number 10 he was in the world. That is John chapter 1 verse number 10 now. He was in the world. Okay, so that it makes sense. We capture again. Capture again from verse number. Verse number 3. All things were meant by him. And without him was not anything that was made. Number 4. In him was the life. And the life was the light of man. Verse number 9. That was the true light. Which lighted every man that came into the world. Listen, Musyoka, listen here. The life that we are talking about here is not the sun. 
Is it Mwangaza or Njua? Pastor Kadi, I really don't want you to stand I need you to be calm. It's not the sun. Okay. Uh-uh. Rather, uh-uh. 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 it is a person. Hello. Hallelujah. Are we okay? The light that we are reading there is not sun or the moon. You see, right now everybody can be able to see outside. Those of you that are in, 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 in Kenya, because somebody is watching online, but at their place it is night. Somebody is watching from Europe, they are at night. Somebody is here in, 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 is in, is in Kenya or in Kampala or in Tanzania. But now, the light that we are seeing. It is as a result of sun. This is not the light that is the Bible talking about. Is your Bible He says again, verse number four. He says, what, what is what? In him was life. And the life was the light of man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the light that was there in the beginning. Even before there was heaven and the earth. In Genesis chapter 1, verse number 3. The Bible says what? And the light shines and into the darkness. It said what? Let there be light. John chapter 1 verse 4 and Genesis chapter 1 verse 3 is the same. Let me repeat again. Genesis chapter 1. Mwanzo mlango wa kwanza verse number 3. Mstari wa 3. And John chapter 1. Na Yohana mlango wa kwanza verse number 4. Mstari wa 4. In the same. Hiyo mstari mbili ni moja. Genesis verse 3 says and God said let there be light and there was light John chapter 1 verse 4 says in him was life and the life was the light of God verse number 5 says and the light shined in the darkness and the darkness could not comprehend Glory to God. Hallelujah. So they speak of the same thing. The light. So what is this light? Because you remember, we have established what is the word. And according to the Bible, the word is a person which is God which is Jesus Christ now then there is another terminology the word light the word what? light so we do not want to confess to confuse the terms of the Bible light with the light of Kenya Power Lightning Company or the light of the sun and the moon. The light that the Bible talks about is a person. Hello? Hello? Are you in church today? <laughs> the light that the Bible talks about is a person. Man of God, how is that possible? I'm not the one saying. Verse 4 again in John chapter 3, chapter, chapter 1. In him, in Jesus Christ, was the life. And the life was the light of man. Did you see that? In him, 
Glory to Jesus. In Christ Jesus. In Jesus. Is the light. So when you see Jesus, you have seen light. Somebody say, I hear you. When you see Jesus, you have seen light. And everywhere Jesus is, there is light. The Bible says this. The entrance of the water. Let me read for you for that. Oh, I feel good. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Are you there? You're there, somebody. If you if you there, say, I'm there. <laughs> this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I wanted to read that one, Pastor, Pastor uh, Arun. Yeah. The entrance of your word. Yeah, well, it should be uh, bring it to It was not in my preparations. I The entrance of your word brings light. In a letter, Mwangaza. The entrance of your word. In a kingia. Bring it light. In a letter, Mwangaza. Shadow baza kata la bagada. Hallelujah. Sakata la bagada. Sakata la bagada. Are you there, Pastor Pastor? You, you know we are searching this together. Tuna man, tuna tuna angalia. Ata wewe nisa. Just want to zoom up immediately. Uh, somebody should help me to get there, Pastor. Okay. As you as you catching that, I'll do. This, this is what this is what the Bible is saying. The endless of the word, which is now Jesus Christ. Light as ever. That is to say, the endless of Jesus Christ in man's heart. Light as ever. Because he is the light. Yes, Pastor God. Psalms 119. Psalms 119. Hallelujah. Psalms 119. Okay, you there, Pastor Byron? It is first. 130. Psalms 119. Saburi miyamoja kumina tisa mustari wa miyamoja na daradhin. Inasema hivi. The entrance of thy words give it light. It give it understanding unto the simple. Woo! Did you hear that? Let me tell you ladies and gentlemen. Psalms 119 verse. Saburi you see that? He said the entrance of the word. In a bring it light. In a letter and give it light to be understand. In a letter of a heart. The entrance of thy words give it light. It will give it understanding. And to the symbol. And to the symbol. Woo. Mm. When Jesus Christ is not preached, Jesus Christ, a simple and another gospel is preached. The people's understanding becomes dull. You understand? Such that they cannot know God. Such that they can't differentiate between God and the devil. They cannot differentiate between the light and the darkness. It is the light that exposes darkness. It is the light that exposes darkness. 
The reason why you are so afraid of the witch doctors and the curses from your family. Sababu wewe unaogopa wachawi na warogi wa familia yenu it is because ni kwa sababu the knowledge of the witches a maarifa ya wachawi has been preached to you. Imeubiriwa kwako it is because ni kwa sababu the knowledge of curses ufahamu ya laana has been preached to you imeubiriwa kwako haleluya haleluya and that's why na ndio sababu you are afraid of what is supposed to be afraid of you unaongopa kile kinapaswa kukuongopa wewe did you hear that nasikia hiyo when you are afraid of satan wakati unaongopa shetani you you lack the understanding unakosa maarifa kalonde balinde katoya hallelujah when you fear the sorcerers and the witches ukiongopa wachawi na waganga when you are thinking that somebody has the wish to all men be you are cast ukifikiria mtu amekoroga ama uko na lahana and you are already in Christ Jesus na wewe uko ndani ya Kristo Yesu you are suffering wewe unaangaika from the wrong knowledge kutokana na maarifa mabaya that was brought to you by a preaching ambayo ililetwa kwako kupitia kwa Somebody told you that witches are after you. Somebody told you that the curses of your family. They are the reason why you're not succeeding. Somebody told you there is somebody that went for you. Hello. Hello. And that is the knowledge. That can't you understand it you could no longer know God how you are going to come with that no score since it now you are going to watch in the lights you not the darkness not fear darkness as you're hoping is because darkness was about to give round the light the fool can never share as we see in the power darkness fool you are the light the fool can never stay together as we see with the policy Uchawi na uroki is darkness. Hiyo ni giza curses. Laana they are darkness. Hiyo ni giza Jesus Christ. Yes Christ. In you are the coming the light. Yeye ni nuru. And therefore, the light shines in the darkness. Nuru ina ngapo nje ni And the darkness could not comprehend it. I wish glory. Hey, hallelujah. Somebody say yeah. Mtu sema nasikia shadow bada kato bada haleluya shela bazaka tanda bagade begede bagada thank you father kanda bagode bede 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 ba haleluya you do not need any sacrifice to break an altar awe tadi sadaka yote akufunza madhaba hello hello somebody say man mtu sema be write that one down i don't need any sacrifice to break an altar si tadi kutoa sadaka yote akufunza madhaba why the man in Christ somebody na kata mtu ndani ya Kristo okay let me repeat again you know you have to say it several times acha nirudie ndio ndio kwame kabisa kwa maana you do not need any sacrifice to break an altar i'm speaking again awe taji kutoa sadaka yoyote ya kuvunja madhabahu inaonena kinyume chako why kwa nini number one Number one, you do not have an altar. Wewe hauna madhaba. Instead, badala yake you are an altar. Wewe ni madhaba. If you are going to break an altar, kama unaenda kuvunja madhaba, you must be breaking yourself. La labda ni wewe unajifunja because you are the only altar. Kwa sababu wewe ndiye tu madhaba that exists. Ambayo inaishi where the sacrifices mali za ndaka they are being offered zinatolewa continually kabisa kwa and the one that is offering na mwenye anatoa it is you ni wewe glory to god hallelujah listen this listen this sikia hii jesus christ yesu christo became the sacrifice alifanyika sadaka that was offered once and for all ambayo ilitolewa mara moja ya mwisho kabisa never to do another sacrifice pasipo tena na kutoa sadaka nyingine when jesus was offered as a sacrifice wakati yesu alitolewa kama dhabihu mazuka tondo bazaka tabaka haleluya kadoka tabaka 
Jesus was offered as a sacrifice. Yesu alitolewa kama dhabihu. You could not offer any sacrifice. Wewe hukuna sadaka ungetoa. You couldn't. Hukua na hiyo uwezo. God offered sacrifice for himself. Mungu alitoa dhabihu yake mwenyewe. And that sacrifice he offered to himself. Na hiyo sadaka alitoa kwake mwenyewe. He is a sacrifice. Yeye mwenyewe ndiye hiyo dhabihu. Listen let's say gentlemen. Tusikizane hapa eh. You know one time Emmanuel. Unajua wakati mmoja Emmanuel. God told Abraham. Mungu alimwambia Abraham, I want us to make a covenant. Nataka tufanye angano na wewe. And God was on his way to prove to Abraham that he does not have where with all to make a covenant with divinity when he is a human. Na Mungu alikuwa anataka kuhakikishia Abraham ya kwamba Abraham ana uwezo wote wa kufanya angano katikati ya uungu na ubinadamu akuweze kufanyika doesn't because you see a covenant is meant between the two equal partners kwa sababu angano huwa inafanywa na watu wawili ambao wanatoshana you understand to bring this wewe unaleta kiwango hiki and I bring this na mimi naleta kiwango hiki then we cut a covenant na tunaweka angano That means that you have the capacity to raise a sacrifice on your own. Kumaanisha wewe pati hii iko na uwezo wa kutoa sadaka ya kutosha and this other party has got a, a, a capacity to raise an offering on our own. On na hii pati nyingine ina uwezo wa kutoa sadaka inatoshana na hiyo and then they will cut a covenant. Na wanaleta pamoja wanaweka so a God told Abraham let's now do this thing. Sasa Mungu akaambia Abraham sasa twende tufanye anga. And when Adam Abraham went to offer wakati Abraham alienda kutoa when he was killing after he killed hiyo sadaka put the sacrifice on the altar na akaweka sadaka zake kwa madhabahu the bible says biblia inasema immediately Abraham fell asleep maandiko inasema hapo kwa hapo Abraham akalala usingizi una while he is waiting for God to come alipokuwa anangojea Mungu na yeye akuje he fell asleep yeye akalala kabisa This is for me. Hii ni kumaanisha nini? The second party. Party hiyo nyingine ya pili did not find the person to cut a covenant with him. Haikupata mtu wa kuweka ngano nayo. Iko wapi? Iko wapi hiyo? Let's go to Genesis, all right? Watch, watch But, is this one. within our subject why? Hii iko kwa somo letu kabisa. Za kutanda baga de de bagara. Mabu kata bade kata zimbu kata la bagara. Genesis Why well, my Bible is not Mwanzo We begin to look about from G- the book of Genesis chapter sorry 15 Chapter 15 Mlango wa 15 kitabu cha Mwanzo Very fast Tuko hapo Oh zakata la babo de be zakata la babo de be de be de be de be de be de be. I want to take you to the very specific one. Ta kupeleka kwa ile ambayo ndio tunatafuta kabisa. Genesis 15 and the first four. From verse 4. Yeah. Aha. Uh-huh. Genesis chapter 15 verse number 4. And behold the word of the Lord came unto him. Neno la Bwana likaja kwa Abraham saying, "Kumwambia, this shall be, hii itakuwa, this shall not be thy heir. Hii haitakuwa huyu atakuwa urithi wako, but he that shall come forth out of thy own power shall." Lakini yeye atakaye toka kwa kiuno chako huyo ndiye atakaye urithi. And he brought him forth abroad na kaenda na yeye and said look now towards heaven akamwambia tazama juu mbinguni and tell the stars na uhesabu wa, nyota if thou be able to number them kama utaweza kuhesabu and he said unto him na akamwambia so shall the seed be hivyo ndivyo usao wako utakuwa and he believed in the law na abraham kaamini ndani ya bwana and he counted it to him for righteousness na akahesabiwa kuwa aki mwenye he said that he, i am the lord that brought thee out of your out of your out of out of your out of you 
I don't know my uh, out of whole all whole of the gentlemen to give me this land to inherit. Na akamwambia mimi ni Mungu wako niliyekutoa katika hiyo inji ya Uri nikulete uweze kuridhi hii. And he said the Lord whereby shall I know that I shall inherit? Na akamuuliza Bwana nitajuaje kwamba nitaridhi? He says for a covenant. Anauliza sasa angano Let's do something that is going to give me a, you know you know why Abraham is doing that Abraham unajua anafanya hivi kwa nini because in their days kwa sababu nyakati sana that is how they dealt with the dead hivyo ndivyo walikuwa wanadili na miungu kata covenant unaweka angano so that to have a proof ili uhakikishe kweli of whatever you have agreed on kwamba kile mmeangiri kitafanyika and he said unto him akamwambia take me a heifer of, of three year old nile tee ndama wa miaka tatu and a she goat of three year old na nile tee mbuzi ya miaka tatu and a ram of three years old na nile tee kondoo ya miaka mitatu and a turtle a, a, a total and a young pigeon na uleteye njiwa na njiwa na njiwa and he took unto him all this na abraham akaleta hizi zote and divided them in the midst na akazikatanisha katikati and laid each piece one against the other na akaweka kila sehemu ikilengana na ile nyingine two pieces one this side another one this side anakatanisha na weka moja pande hii nyingine pande hii but the bus divided in not lakini hizo ndege hakugawanyika and when the falls came down upon the carcasses na wakati zile unguru zilikuja kwa hiyo misoga Abraham dropped them away Abraham akazifukusa and when the sun was going down wakati njua ilipokuwa ikitua and deep sleep usingizi mzito fell upon Abraham ukamwangukia Abraham and lo na an aura of great darkness fell upon him isa kubwa ikaanguka juu yake Are you see that one? That one renders Abraham ineffective. Iyo condition, iyo moja ilifanya Abraham kuwa atoshi because he fell asleep kwa sababu alilala and the horror darkness. This is to show the state of Abraham as man. Ili kuonyesha hali ya Abraham cannot meet the standard of God's righteousness. Hai kufikia kiwango cha haki ya Mungu. He cannot be on the same level with God. Hawezi kuwa kiwango moja na Mungu. You see animal wakitumia wanyama and the blacks of animal. Na damu ya wanyama he does not have the capacity aina uweza to enter into a covenant kuishia katika akia moja mimi na Mungu man must cut a covenant with man wanadamu anaweza fanya angano na wanadamu divinity can only cut a covenant with divinity Mungu unaweza fanya angano na Mungu this will be the necessity hii itakuwa ni lacks the capacity ana hiyo uwezo lacks the ability ana hiyo uwezo lacks the playground ana hiyo hawezi to meet the standard of god wewe kufikia kiwango cha because man man generally is see kwa sababu mwanadamu ni dhambi ayo kitu ni say nasikia because as a kid roman says kwa sababu roman anasema roman chapter 6 chapter 3 say wasomi sita kule 26 oh i've seen inasema wote wamefanya dhambi and they have become short of the na wanapungukiwa na ukufu wa Mungu so no man kwa hivyo hakuna mtu asikot the standard of god ambaye anaweza kufikia kiwango cha Mungu but god loves man kwa hivyo Mungu akafanyika mwanadamu i said that god loves man lakini Mungu anapenda mwanadamu even man at his fallen state hata mwanadamu kwa kiwango chake cha kuanguka god Mungu loves him anampenda akiwa hivyo hivyo how can god prove to love man Mungu anahakikisha haja mwanadamu na 
can only prove his love to man by saving man from his fallen state. How can he do that? He can only do that by becoming man so that he can make a covenant with God. Because man His sacrifices They cannot attain The righteousness of God It is only the sacrifice of God Is somebody in this church today It is only the sacrifice of God That pleases God It is only the sacrifice of God that pleases God. Can we do this? Let's sit very quickly over there. Let's go to Hebrews. I feel good, I feel good, I feel good. Glory to God. Simbro katala bagadi. Hallelujah. Zimbrando bazakata la babo de 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 please attend so please attend hallelujah hallelujah zimbazakata la bazoko to do babo de 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 verse number 1 mstari wa kwanza now of the things which were spoken this is the summary kwa mambo yote tumenena haya ndio ufupi wa haya mambo of such an i priest kwamba tuna yeye kwani who who is set on the right hand of the throne on the right hand of the throne of the majesty in the heavens a minister of the sanctuary and of the true tabernacle which the Lord pitched and not man for every high priest kwa sababu kila kwani mkuu is ordained to offer gifts and sacrifices. Amechaguliwa kutoa sadaka. Wherefore, kwa sababu hiyo it is of necessity in a far that this man ya kwamba huyu mtu after somewhat also to offer baada ya kutoa for we for if he were on the earth kwa sababu angekuwa hapa ulimwenguni he should not be a priest being that there are priests that offer gift according to the law who serve unto the example and shandor of heavenly things as Moses was ordained rather was admonished of God when he was about to make the for see say it he that thou make all things according to pattern short to thee in the mount but now as he obtained a more excellent ministry but how much also he is the mediator of the better covenant which was established upon better promise let me take you uh, the, the reading there downwards very much important is only that the time is asked First very important because now it gives you the foundation of how then you will do not need our offer any sacrifice to please God. This background tells us that which man was supposed to have offered God 
who in the person of Jesus Christ and then he pleased himself in Jesus Christ you understand so Jesus he is the sacrifice that was offered on behalf of man where did this sacrifice get offered it was offered in the heart of pastor so your heart is the altar are you at what I'm saying your heart is the altar where the sacrifice was offered the only sacrifice you offer today is the sacrifice of thanksgiving that sacrifice of praise they say we give the sacrifice of praise and to the Lord we give the sacrifice of thanksgiving and to the Lord say in each and everything do not be worried don't be anxious in each and everything by prayer and supplication Supplication sala, supplication with thanksgiving. thanksgiving. Give thanks unto the Lord. It is good. His mercy and forever. Give thanks unto the Lord. And forget not his benefits. He unto you on a daily basis. The salvation of your soul is the benefit of the sacrifice of Jesus. 